Hi everyone, this week I'm doing faces in trees. You can see it, can't you? Tell me you can see it. When I started thinking about these faces that I've been seeing in the trees, I thought, well, there must be a, a word for it, what I was kind of experiencing. I always thought it was anthropomorphism, which is where you kind of attribute human characteristics to inanimate objects or to animals. And then I thought, well, that's not quite right, is it? Um, an example of that would be something like Disney's Beauty and the Beast, where you've got the candlestick is Lumiere and you've got the teapot, it's Mrs. Potts. And I thought it's not quite right. Um, so I looked into it a bit more and found another word. So apparently that word is pareidolia. It's a, a tendency to interpret a vague stimulus into something more recognizable for the viewer. So usually the stimulus is a sound or an image or something you see in front of you usually it's a kind of random pattern that kind of doesn't really mean anything but your mind plays tricks on you and orders it into something a bit more manageable something it's a bit happier with and as we're all brought up with faces um, we tend to sort of go that way and we see sort of human characteristics in in objects well i think the woods is as good a place as any to find faces I mean, I walk around these woods all the time and I suppose I'm looking so hard because I'm trying to think of potential compositions for, for later on that I'm looking intently at each individual tree and thinking, has it got any characteristics there that I would like to photograph? And often that's why I'm seeing faces. So this is another spot that I come past quite a lot on my dog walks. We're on the main path and there's a couple of oak trees and they join at the bottom and there's a couple of faces there and I've shown this to other people and it's not that they can't see it but they're just not interested in it and I just think why? There's two faces looking at each other, it's amazing. So today I am photographing on my Panasonic G9. Uh, it's a micro four thirds camera so it has a smaller sensor but it does have this uh, mode built in called high resolution mode so basically it takes uh, four separate images and it um, shifts on the sensor very slightly I think it's sort of by one pixel or so and, and it amalgamates four images into uh, one capture so it gives you about an 80 meg file so there should be a huge amount of detail so basically you set your exposure and you go into the menu and press high resolution mode and it will give you an 80 megapixel um, image uh, I'm shooting a raw image and basically there's a delayed shutter and you just press start and you hit the shutter button and it will start after four seconds. There we are. So then if you have a look at it, have a look at that image. And then if we zoom in, some of that detail that's on there. So I've always quite liked these two. We've got this beech and an oak, and they're obviously quite old and established, and they've grown up so close to each other, and I just think it's really lovely that they seem to obviously tolerate each other. Um, there aren't, this isn't a kind of classic face in a tree type situation, but I do like the fact that they are so close. And when you follow them up 
they they go up together and then they meet further up and it's quite sweet because they seem to have, be having a bit of a cuddle at the top so um, I stuck it in it's not a face in a tree but it, I like it all the same it is so much easier to use for you know situations like this I'm pointing upwards um, it's the same if you're down low on the ground that uh, you've got this um, fantastic screen on the back which um, flips out and tilts back as well so you can, you can use it to film yourself and, and see, see yourself in, in the screen so it makes life a lot easier um, something I can't do on my Canons I, mean, I think there are some Canons that have got flip out screens but um, it really is um, a handy feature So as you can see we're on the main path here, I come past here quite a lot and I just like the way that we've got these oak trees, there's three all together and they're all they're lined up quite nicely and the one that has the face in that I can see is slightly apart from them so I kind of see him as a bit of a leader and the others are just kind of like lined up, it's quite sort of regimented. So I'm going to shoot it quite tight. I want to keep the verticals of the trees um, in an upright composition, keep the face on his own, slightly apart from the rest on the right. See, good thing about being a dog walker is you always have a supply of poo bags on you. Look at that, like a glove. What am I doing here? I'm in the drive but it is peeing down. So this one is definitely going in. Uh, it's got such a cheeky looking face. I'm usually drawn to an eye and it's got a great round eye, it's got this little nose and it's got this smiley mouth and I'm going to keep it uh, as a landscape composition and I'm going to keep these other trees in because they are just boring and plain, they don't have any features so I want him to be kind of looking towards the other lot with a smirk on his face saying look I'm special, I've got a face. So thanks very much for watching today. Uh, it was a bit of fun really. I didn't really expect to get anything amazing, but um, hopefully you, you like the images. If you've got anything out of it, um, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Um, thank you to everybody that leaves comments on, on, on my vlogs. And uh, if you've got any comments about today's uh, images or anything I've done, or if you go out and uh, you do the same sort of thing as me and you have found sort of faces and things uh, around your woodland or wherever you are, um, then let me know and, uh, and, and share the photo with me. Um, anyway, until next time, I'll see you later. Cheers. Oh, before I go, um, right behind me there, we've got massive, massive grey squirrels in this woods. So I'll, I'll show you. Yeah.
there. Look at the size of him. Huge.